Let's see if I still got this. Greetings, lords and ladies. Kaiser here, and welcome to another episode of our A World of Ice and Fire campaign. Hell yeah, still got it. <laughs> welcome, everyone. Now, first order of business, this is the first video of the new year, so I just wanted to take a moment to wish you all a very, very happy new year. Um, I hope you all managed to celebrate these holidays somehow. We is Certainly, these holidays were not such as we are accustomed to, but I hope that you all remained safe, you all remained healthy, and still managed to somehow s celebrate the arrival of the new year, but mo more than the arrival of the new year, uh, the leaving of the previous one. <laughs> Here's to hoping for a better 2021. Now then, uh, one more point I wanted to get through very quickly is um, for those that missed the community post, uh, I don't post that much, so probably most. <laughs> um, I post. Uh, I have created a Discord channel, so anybody that wants to just drop in, uh, talk with some of your other co-viewers, talk to some of the amazing people here on the channel, and talk to me as well whenever I am on a line there, uh, or rather available in chat. Um, possibly find out when uh, new streams are coming in, when new videos are coming in. You definitely get more, uh, shall we say, play-by-play -play of what is going on in my life as well if you uh, join the Discord channel. The Discord channel link will be down in the description, so just hit that button there uh, and join the, shall we say, court. Join the court, yes. All right, so when last we left off, we had made our return from the north, where we have been fighting the, uh, well, the north, uh, going back and forth with some of the locations such as um, High Point, Shadow Tower, no, Shadow Tower was never actually besieged, Bear Island was taken by us, however, since then a couple of things have happened, of course. We actually beat some Sea Raiders, that might seem like a small thing, but we lost some spies, and, but still managed to get quite a few units out of that as well, since they did have uh, quite a few prisoners with them. What's more, Shadow Tower, uh, the castle right over here, was given to Clayton Suggs. Clayton Suggs, of course, being one of the lords that we were leading in the um, <laughs> in our path our conquest throughout the north. Uh, he was awarded it, however, soon afterwards he was actually defeated by the north as well, so I'm hoping that he is somewhere safe and sound. Um, Bear Island was besieged uh, since last time as well, I'm kind of hoping that we managed to defend that. That was absol would absolutely suck if we actually managed to lose that. Uh, Axel... Uh, Axel Florent, our current uh, marshal, sorry, it's the first video First time I'm actually talking here, so uh, I'm still trying to find my words here. Uh, Fist of the First Men was besieged. Oh, apparently he actually re-sieged it. For the first time I saw when I was still walking about in the south, uh, Fist of the First Men was besieged, but, uh, but he retreated and it was no longer besieged. So um, apparently it's once again re-sieged there. Hopefully we actually managed to get that. Um... Now, another thing that happened while I did visit the lady, of course, our lady of choice, and while visiting her, I realized that we don't know any songs. Like, we just know one song that we probably just randomly uh, learn from one of the bards, which, of course, is how you learn the songs, but I, we never actually went around to meet any of the other bards to learn any of the other songs, and as such, our... Um, our pool of songs has already been wasted, uh, or rather used, after a single visit to a lady. So um, we'll have to handle that. Hornwood, sorry, not hardwood. Hornwood over here is also under siege, and as you can see, I actually didn't see this. The battle has already begun. Lord Galbert Glover or Glover is trying to take over Hornwood. Um, that is actually where we are heading right now. I did also go about the south and recruited a bunch of Reach units. So our army right now is a little bit more numerical. Uh, oh, we actually gained a level... Right, 
I actually did do... I only did enough arena fights because I didn't have that much time, but I did enough arena fights to at least get ourselves to the next level. Mia Stone, Podrick Payne have also been leveled up, and we got, like I said, a bunch of reach units, reach levies. Uh, reach peasants, well, they're the first. Um... The, re the reason for this is, if you recall from the last vi uh, from the uh, last episode, we were looking at um, good options for archers. And when we look through uh, the troop trees for the Riverlands, who arguably have one of the best archers, the Riverlands archers have... Wait, inventory. The Longbow. Longbow and Broadhead Arrows. Which is, if I am not mistaken, exactly what the Reach Longbowmen have as well. Uh, pop, 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 pop. Where you at? Reach, 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 reach. The Reach. Bam. The Reach Longbowmen also have broad-headed arrows and the Longbow. Now, granted, granted they are a tier lower than the Riverlands Archers, which of course means that they do not have the sort of power draw and possibly not the archery either. Let me just recheck this right here. Yeah, the archery is w a little bit worse, power draw is, w uh, is one less as well, but hopefully having the longbow is at least going to be able to, uh, or rather enable us, to be able to fire far enough uh, at the enemy. One thing that I really do want to do um, is, not Sam Fortune, wait, options I believe. Uh, no, 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 insane difficulty, white walkers do not invade, enable... Charge animation and battle display projectile. No players enemies only attack. You know what? I'm gonna actually activate this I hate the fact that players enemies only attacks is the only uh, option here. I would much rather just have You know the option that if they attack they actually attack you if they defend uh, if you're attacking them They actually defend it's kind of sucky to have to activate this and please tell me what you think in the comment section as well Like this is something that has been upsetting me for a little uh, for a while now like, we just get attacked by a superior, uh, like, an inferior army. We get attacked. We don't attack them. They attack us. And yet, then they just occupy the hill and have us come to them as if we don't have anything better to do. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to make it so that the enemy actually comes to us. Um, I am, of course, going to try and make it as fair as possible. We are going to be defending when they're attacking, especially if they're numerically superior and whatnot. I just hate the fact that, you know, we face an army of like 80 units with our 300, and then those 80 units just defend a hill and have the advantage, of course. But oh, why would the attacker have the advantage if we are the ones that are defending and yet the defender is forced to attack? Let me know what you think there. Um, no. Well, as you also saw, we actually sold our prisoners. In fact, we sold all of our prisoners, including, if you recall, we had a certain Lord Paramount in our prisoner hold. Now, why did I sell him? Uh, you guys have seen firsthand in this series as well that um, prisoners, especially Lords, tend to escape the prisoner hold very, very rapidly, very, very quickly. And so I was like, well, if a good offer actually comes around, I'll accept it. And as such would happen, we were offered a ransom of 50,500 gold for Lord Paramount Roos Bolton, which I accepted. As you can see, we are quite rich, uh, which, yes, we are quite rich. We have 200,000 um, silver. Sorry, I, I said gold again, didn't I? Silver. Um... So yeah, that's where we currently are. We are on our way to Hornwood to see if perhaps we can manage to either defend it or quickly defeat the lords that uh, are trying to take it. I'm thinking that since Hornwood, um, you know, Hornwood was taken not too long ago, the defenders should not be uh, that strong. And maybe it's just a very, very optimistic northern lord deciding to try and take uh, that piece of land for himself. Um, that's the optimal <laughs> hopefully the worst case scenario is we get up there and there's like five uh northern lords each with like 300 or 400 units that are going to be chasing us uh hopefully that does not happen uh i was kind of hoping that when axel um stopped sieging the fist of the first men i was kind of hoping that he was coming down to hornwood to defend it but chances are he probably wouldn't have made it to hornwood to defend it uh by the time 
the game was taken. Hopefully, I mean, the same can be said about us, of course, but at least maybe we get the chance to fight a lord or two with uh, a weakened army. Uh, I'm just going through my list real quick right here. We decided that po uh, Podepod over here, Podrick, is going to be right. He is to be one of our surgeons, or rather, uh, medical personnel. So we're going to go with this with surgery in order to hopefully keep a few more of our soldiers alive when they get taken down. Another one, Mia Stone over here. Mia, um, what do we say that you were going to be? That you were going to be our looter or navigator. Right, right, right. Uh, navigation is at zero. Uh, looter, 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 looter. Oh, it's already at nine. Okay, so navigator, navigation will be the other, as well as engineer. I have her written down here. Uh, navigation is intelligent, and engineer is intelligence. Yes. Okay, so we're just gonna start focusing on intelligence here, and just give her two points straight into engineer. Um. Huh. You know what? I'm gonna give her, like, one-handed weapons right now. That's what we're gonna do. And, of course, for ourselves, attributes, we are gonna go into an additional point of charisma, and thus increase our leadership further. As such, we can actually have 341 units. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We don't have the full army right now, of course. How's our inventory looking? Our inventory is looking fine. We also have some salt. Probably from Lord Haraway's town. I don't... Yeah, 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 of course, of course, of course. Because we are heading up to the north. Uh, if we meet any northern lords on our way... Just notice the Moon Brothers are right over there. Can they... What? Candidate Sir Marlon Mendeley or Lord Axel Forent. King Stannis Baratheon of Dragonstone wishes to select a new marshal and invites his vassals for a council. This is something I have to talk about with you guys as well. Menderly, Menderly, Axel, Axel, Menderly, Axel, 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 Menderly, Axel, Axel. Sure, I'll I'll do Axel as well then. Um namely the incoming nightmare. Come on, move away. Move further away. Please. Thank you. Let us through. Of course, they immediately start hunting us, but we have enough speed to get out of there. Sea Raiders over there versus Salt Pan Patrol. Yeah, but we're not going to bother with them. Uh, Banefoot of the Westerlands. Something happened to him. Didn't see. What happened? Ah, uh, pa 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 pa. Lord Quentin Bainford of the Westerlands was defeated in battle, but managed to escape. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, the, the Westerlands are currently at war with the Reach. The North have taken Hornwood from Dragonstone. Curses, they've taken it. Okay. Uh, but yeah, if we meet any Nor uh, sorry, Dragonstone Lords on our way up to the North, we are certainly going to tell them to go straight for Hornwood to hopefully manage to quickly take it back. I very much doubt that we have the capability of taking it back ourselves, but we'll see. We shall see. Uh, the levy, we go for a footman. Boom. Reach levy, there we go. Bandits. Uh, Insu brigands and robber knight after over here. Townsmen. What do you go into again? Sword and swords, right. Um, like I said, I, w <laughs> I wanted to address the nightmare that is the White Walker invasion. Um, I've been thinking for a while, like, how are we actually going to be able to do this, right? And some of you have uh, even suggested a couple of things in the Discord channel itself. Um, I've checked other uh, YouTube channels and whatnot. Running from Lord Baylor Blacktide. 179... Oh, wait, that's the Karstark man. We don't want to... After consulting with the Pierce King, Stannis Baratheon has decided to confer Bear Island on Sir Justin Massey. So somebody that was nowhere near here when it happened. A mob of angry, quiet Isle dwellers are complaining about corrupt tax collectors. They demand justice. The situation is getting worse. Begin an investigation and compensate them for the loss. All right. 
Car Stark is somebody that I don't want to mess with right now. Not with those units, at least. But yeah, like, uh, I was checking some other uh, YouTube channels and whatnot. Uh, how the others managed to do it. Now, I don't know if this has changed. Somebody tell me in the comment section if this has changed. But if I remember, uh, if I saw correctly, when the White Walkers invade, they invade with, like, 6,500 or so whites at the helm of the, uh, the Night King. Jesus Christ. Pirate Sword, Squire, Dornish Archer, Dornish Light, Westerland Scout, Dragonstone Militia, Dragon of Thieves. Good God. Nine un nine pirates are in command of that army. They they are literally they literally have an army in their prisoner hold. Jesus. Um Footman. Levy. Some of these are of course going to also be changed into knights. Of course, because uh Riverlands Knight sorry, Reach Knights are also just Amazing. Leashed Sworn Swords are pretty darn amazing. Um, the Brigand, Soldier's Wife, what are you going to again? Just Camp Defender. So this is probably just going to be somebody that we uh, leave in one of our camps or something. Not because she's a camp follower, but simply because I don't think that when the going gets tough, they're going to be much use to us. Uh, that's more... Outlaws and whatnot. Jesus, there's plenty of them. Are we gonna catch this or not? There Less we go. Talking, more raiding. Less talking, more raiding. Indeed. God, it's been a while. Let's go. Let us go. There we go. The battle, uh, the battle size is still set onto 300 right now. Those, those are cavalry units. Wait. Are those the Thra Those are the Thraki. Yeah, I didn't check who we are actually fighting against. No, 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 no. Charge, charge, charge. That's the horse down, and that's the dude down. Good. Get him. Well, let's command the archers to get over here on the hill. I mean, we're doing proper formations and everything, even though... Uh, not... Okay, I just said proper formations. This is definitely not proper formations, but just... Moving our units a little bit so that I get used to it again, even though there are only nine, uh, nine enemies. Uh, but as I was saying, yeah. Um, as I was watching the other channels and whatnot, most of them... Oh. It. Um, most of them made me realize that we are, or rather I, am kind of effed, so to speak. I will immediately explain why. We've captured some enemies, good. Um, the reason why is, well, because I decided that we were gonna, you know, help uh, Stannis Baratheon become the king slash protector of the seven kingdoms um the reason that's bad is because we are not a king and us not being a king slightly decreases our options namely you know if you're a king you don't have to worry about becoming a marshal in order to command other lords what to do like yes you can ask other lords to follow you uh, uh, anyway uh, anyway, if they have a high enough relation with you. Um, but if they don't have a high relation with you, well, they don't follow you. If you're a marshal, they kind of, you know, don't have much of a choice. They can still not come, uh, but usually they will arrive unless they have, like, zero units or some, uh, something like that. You know how that goes. Um, as a king, you automati automatically have uh, people join you in battles if uh, you call on them. Not to mention, if you just tell people to follow you, well, fighting in battles, those guys are just gonna rush in like, you know, the AI usually does. Now, I'm not sure if that actually changes with you becoming martial, like, if you command other lords to follow you, if they will actually follow your commands on the field as well, or just charge in. I think they actually charge in, so... Regardless of that fact, um, not being the martial and not being the king... Um, makes it so that you don't have that many lords follow you in as you go and fight the uh, Night King. 
Like I said, the Night King has like 60, or like 6,000 or 6,500 or something like that units uh, coming in. Uh, which is, as you can imagine, a lot, even for an entire kingdom. Uh, like, I've seen YouTubers go against those whites with, like, I don't know, like 4,000 units or something like that. Um, and still not manage to make that much of a dent in them. And the only reason they do do the dent in, the, in them is because they use the troop editor in order to give their units obsidian weaponry. Because here's the thing, the way to the, kill, the only ways to kill the whites is, if I remember correctly, in four ways. Either one, you use Valyrian steel weapons. Now, of course, Valyrian steel weapons are very, very rare. Uh, one of which is uh, the ones that we have, and we also gave, I believe, Sirio Forel one, and I believe we also gave Gendry one as well. No, he has an arming sword. Who did we give the other Valyrian steel sword to? Bronn? Yes, Bronn ha also has the Valyrian steel sword. Uh, sorry, long sword. Uh, so yeah, we have four Valyrian steel swords. Now, as you can imagine... Wait, four? Three. Us, Sirio, Bron. Yes, three. Now, as you can imagine, going uh, headfirst into 6,500 whites with just three units is uh, mad. Uh, the second units that can kill a white are units that have obsidian weaponry. Of course, we do currently already control uh, have the obsidian mine built, and we will have an endless supply of um, obsidian archers, obsidian spearmen. I can't recall if any other obsidian uh, style troops are there, but at least obsidian archers and obsidian spearmen. But the thing is, those obsidian archers and spearmen are not that high tier. Right? If they were high tier, like, everybody would just keep getting them. They're not that high tier. Um, sadly enough, they're one of the very few units that can actually kill uh, whites. Um, the third type of unit is the type of unit that I keep trying to get anyway from Castle Black. The um, Night Watch Rangers. The Night Watch Rangers have flaming arrows. Flaming arrows actually do damage uh, to whites and white walkers, etc, etc, etc. But, of course, as you've seen, so far we haven't been that lucky in getting that many Night's Watch uh, Rangers. The fourth type of units that can actually fight the Whites and kill them are Thin Champions. Now, I believe Thin Champions are still a thing, even, um, even in... 6.2 because the videos that I was watching were a little bit older. Troop trees. Can we actually see thin? Free folk. Wildling champion. No. They're special units that can only be recruited. Thin. There we go. They're special units that can only be recruited within. Uh, uh within the thin. Uh, within the thin. Town within the thin, thin holding. Jesus Christ, I could not remember the word holding. So we have to make sure that we somehow get control over thin. Otherwise, that's already one option gone. Second, we have to make sure that we have as many Night Watch Rangers as possible. That's something that we've been doing this entire time. Third, yes, of course, we're going to be able to go back here and just get a bunch of Obsidian units. That's not a problem. Fourth, I don't know if I can actually still make any more Valyrian steel weapons. I think we can make one more? I think so. When we uh, reach a certain amount of renown. I'll have to recheck that, but yeah. Um, what, do you guys, uh, what do you guys think? Should we either use the troop editor? Of course, not yet, but when the time comes for us to fight against the um, White Walkers. I mean, to me, it kind of sounds logical that we would go that path, because, you know, if... If you have reports about, uh... Galbert Glover, there he is. It says that it's under siege, so somebody's already besieged it? Who's, who's besieged it? Uh... Hornwood has been besieged by Lord Axel Thorn. Wait, wait a minute. Weren't you... How is this under siege by you as well, then? I swear to God, the message I saw was him sieging down Fist of the First Men. Or has the 
Tick not figured out, or rather the game not figured out that it is not being under siege right now. Or it's just being under siege by somebody else. I am friggin' hoping that it is not the Iron Islands, because that would actually upset me greatly. And Iron Islands and the North are definitely still at war. The only ones that are not at war with the North right now that used to be are the Westerlands. Uh, okay, so yeah, we're gonna be helping in Hornwood. Let's see if we can catch Galbert Glover over there. We definitely cannot. Who is that? Wyman Menderley, a company lord Galbert Glover's party. Okay, so he did have a little bit of help. But if we go and find those guys, we're gonna be in trouble. Who... Axel Florent, with your 290 units, are trying to take Hornwood with 22. Can I take it? Oh, he's going in. Yeah, we're jumping in. We're definitely jumping in. Uh, join the next assault. There are 22 units. What can 22 units do? And before TPK. <laughs> Uh, for anybody that doesn't uh, know what TPK is, TPK essentially is a um, in tabletop game such as Dungeons and Dragons. TPK means uh, total party, uh, total party kill. So basically, your entire party just gets slaughtered, and that's game over. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, what do you guys think? Will we be using the troop, co uh, the troop uh, editor, the unit editor, or how should we proceed with? trying to take down the White Walkers, because granted, even though most of these units cannot lay a finger on the Whites, like, they just don't do damage to them, auto-calculate interestingly enough, still works. But here's the thing, like, I saw some people try auto-calculate. Auto-calculate is absolutely terrible. Auto-calculate, essentially you lose about 50 to 60% of your units uh, in return for killing, um, let's say maybe 5% or 10% of the enemy. Like, basically, may maybe I'm over uh, overreacting a little bit, I'm over embellishing the numbers here, but you definitely lose a whole lot of units um, in order to win. Or rather, in order to kill very few enemies. Um... The YouTuber... God, I forgot what his name was. I'm so, so sorry. I'll have his name for the next episode. I promise. Because I did enjoy watching his videos. Wait, I got shot? Something shot me and I did not hear getting shot. But, uh, yeah. He went in with about 4,500 or 4,000 units. Let's give or take a few hundred. Versus the, um... Night King's army. After a couple of battles, he decided that it would be a good idea to, you know, back off for a little bit, let the knocked out units regain their strength, and then attack again. Simply retreating from that battle, I believe, cost them around half of his uh, uh, half of his remaining army. Um, so I cannot imagine that going into a battle and auto calculating is much much better. Granted. The whites still take damage. Yes, they do. Um, but you take so much more, though. You take so, so much more. And that's the problem. You're actually leaving 12 units in there, huh? You have 354 units! Dude, you just received like 60 or 70 or so prisoners from Hornwood. Why don't you leave the prisoners in the Hornwood? Mind you, there are two lords over here. Together, numbering about... F what? King Bal and Greyjoy? Bal and Gre I'll, I'll read that in a moment. But mind you, there are two lords over here. Uh, together, counting about 400 units. Traveling. I'm seriously wondering what is happening at the Fist of the First Men. But yeah, there are two lords over here, numbering 400 units, that could attack Hornwood if they wanted to. Or did they back off? They didn't back off. There's Wyman Menderley. Are you chasing him? He's traveling, following village farmers. Uh, Lord and clansmen attacking thieves. Is it gonna tell me to just ignore them? Or can I actually fight them? I can fight them. Uh, wait, why didn't... Is it controlling them? 
I forgot how to do a quick save. Legitimately. Oh no. Uh. Save. Woo! It did not break the game. Uh, nowadays, whenever I save is when I'm most <laughs> nervous about breaking the game. Crashing the game. Jesus. Yeah, we're, we're gonna do and fight these guys while we talk a little bit. Um. Oh. Axel actually joined in on this as well. Nice. But yeah, like, if you have a bunch of lords on your side that do not obey your commands, then, of course, the better idea is to simply uh, do auto calculate. Because if you go into a battle, as you can imagine, going into a battle with 4,000 units on your side, and only about three or 400 of those units being your own, and the rest of the units just rushing in like this, exactly like this. Like he's not the one that was even attacking. I w I'm essentially the leader of this ba uh, of this battle. At least I should be. Uh, but yeah, he's just charging in, and this is what usually happens, which is a problem, as you can imagine, considering most of the units would not be doing damage unless we used the uh, troop editor and gave every each and single unit in the Seven Kingdoms. Obsidian weaponry. Which, granted, I am more than willing to spend, like, I don't know, two or three hours, however long it takes, to change all of the weaponry, or maybe not change... Well, no, you actually have to change it, because otherwise the AI is not going to use them. Uh, and give them... Uh, give them to the AI as well, of course, so that they can do some damage to the white walkers. Right, to the whites. That, of course, includes giving all of the archery units uh, flaming arrows. Okay, everybody? Well, not nearby soldiers, but everyone. There's the rest of them. How many cavalry units do I have? Plenty. Just charge it. That's fine. And I'll join in on this as well. But yeah, I think the best option for us would actually be to use the troop editor and give all of the units obsidian weapons. Because I don't know how effective... Like, I can try off-camera at first, at least. I can try off-camera at first to see how much damage... Uh, the obsidian units at the, the obsidian mines would actually do. You know, the archers and spearmen, and that's it. But that's just the thing, like, as you see, uh, no matter what, we can only control... Uh, burn... Nothing really of value over here, I would say. I'll take the top. I was a little bit worried because he was going away that those two would actually attack me. Also, he has 180 prisoners right there. Lord Harwood Stout. Morse Umber. H M Hother Umber. Hey, right. How does... <laughs> I'm still a little bit confused. Like, I understand that those guys are actual characters in the game, right? And they're usually within the Lord's army. Like, I I I'm guessing those two are his sons. Um, if you remember, when we defeated uh, Roos Bolton, that little pipsqueak of his son was also in that army. But he just said that he doesn't have time, and he ran away. Like, how does that work? How do I capture these guys? Or is the percentage of, you know, the possibility of capturing them as good as the possibility of capturing a lord after a battle? I'm guessing it's that, right? I'm guessing it's something like that. Uh, what is our next step to be? First and foremost, I believe we are heading to Castle Black. I'm thinking that those two are gonna try and take Hornwood. Which might be a slight problem. On the other hand, Dragons on the IRS have concluded a non-aggression pact with each other. Okay, so actually multiple lords over here. Patrolling around... Okay, so this guy is just patrolling. This guy is patrolling as well. Lord Harwood felt. Wait. Are there multiple Harwoods? Lord Harwood Stout, Lord Harwood Fells over here. Interesting. 
Um, I was kind of hoping... Okay, yeah, so the Fist of the First Men is no longer under siege. But I think we should go and siege it down before the Iron Islands do. Um, now, this man is, once again... Not still, but once again, uh, once again, I guess. Or rather, nah, the other way around. Not once again, but still. Um, join the battle on my side. Hello, so they would actually be willing to fight Harwood Fells if I asked them to. Uh, may I suggest a course of action? Go to Fist of the First Men. All right, I'll do that. Okay, so let's see if we can get an assault on the Fist of the First Men going. Uh, once again, they would join on my side, interestingly enough. See, just a course of action, go to Fist of the First Men. I need to attend to my own business at the moment. I see. What about Sir Bernard? Uh, go to Fist of the First Men. Okay, he's gonna do it. I'm thinking, is this enough? Head that away. Tell the woman to infer her mistress that you will be coming shortly. I mean, it's not going to be that shortly, but yeah. Also, that was the whole night. Aren't we? Yeah, we're supposed to be able to upgrade some of our units. Uh, longbowmen. There we go. Starting to get some of them. Uh, we'll change most of them still into archers. But I think we'll change, like, I don't know, about 20, 25 of them into knights. Uh, into guard. Guard, Dragon Stone Men at Arms, Bandit into Brigands, Hedge Knight, there we go. Uh, Dragon Stone Knight. Alright, our army is certainly becoming something to reckon with. Let's make our way up there. This Rouge Corp of the Reach has been taken prisoner by the Westerlands. Oh! Lord Lester Morgan, can I... You're in here, so can I actually ask you to go and attack as well? No, not troops. What? No, done. Course of action, go to Fist of the First Man. He's going. Perfect. The more the better. The more the better. Because that is an additional I didn't even check. Last Hearth has 99, he has how many? 245. Uh, okay. So, all together, we already have a nice army of about, what is this, 330, 630, 830, 870. <clears throat> so, they together have about 870 units. Adding on to that, my 300, and we should be good. We should be good. It is a castle, it is not a town. I just want to make sure we keep pushing the north back, that's all. I want to give the North some targets over here so that they leave this part at least alone. To le let this part actually regain some of its strength. Regain some of the uh, garrisons and whatnot. Castle Black has 303 units. Lord Commander Jon Snow, 700 units. Jarman Buckwell. What are these guys actually fighting? They're not fighting much. Like This is why I'm kind of doubting whether or not units are actually being brought into Castle Black when we sell them to the crows. Um, I asked, like I said, I asked in the Discord whether or not units uh, that you sell to the crows, uh, like the prisoners, actually appear uh, as, you know, Night Watch units. And I was assured that that was indeed happening. Like, any prisoners that you sell either to the crows or to the lords directly, etc., etc., become uh, become units over here. And, you know, maybe I would believe it, considering the, they do have, like, peasants, townsmen, uh, riverlands units, and whatnot. That's a lot of prisoners as well. Uh, but yeah, like, I haven't seen, like, why is Corrin Halfhand that low? Why is Jarman Buckwell that low? If... Uh, we've been giving them, like, we, well, not it, but, like, we've been giving them hundreds of units. Um, and I doubt we would be the only ones, not to mention they actually do have quite a few villages around here that they can also uh, recruit in. Villages that we cannot use for recruitment, mind you. There are competitions here. Um, quick save. It worked. Okay. Just want to make sure because... You know, I've had crashes happen in tournaments. Let's get in here, place a bet on ourselves, and fight in the next round. Let's go. 
But yeah, I'm a little bit worried still, even though I've had the literal, like, main developer of... Main developer of the... Mod. Confirm. Oh, hey. I can't tell who's with me, who's not. You were not. You are not. Um, like he confirmed. Okay, that's mine. This guy's not. He confirmed to me that yes, indeed, all those units go into the Night's Watch. So. Theoretically, you could reinforce the Night's Watch well enough to have their auto calculations possibly at least keep the White Walkers back for a little while. But I'm not sure how plausible that is. I'm not sure how plausible that is, and that scares the living crap out of me. <laughs> this is horse. Yeah, you are mine. Okay, got him. It's a little bit worried there because, you know, being on a horse, he can actually hit my legs and whatnot. Three teams, four fighters each. Uh, we should stick together, guys. Actually, hey, stay here, stay here, stay here. Let them fight each other. Let them fight amongst themselves. I'll actually fire a few arrows. Yeah, let them fight amongst themselves. Have at least one team be weaker than our team. And then go in. Ah, hit one. Wait, that dude actually also has a bow and arrow. That's one of my guys, actually. I kill his horse. That's, I mean, knocked out his horse. That wasn't nice of me. Oh, Nero! Wait, you were on my side last time, weren't you? Guys, follow me. I believe our time to shine is about to come. Okay, yeah. Charge. There's two of them left. There's one of them left. There's none of them left. Congrats, guys. We did it. Eight participants remaining. Three teams with two fighters each. Can we do the same thing, or will we automatically be dragged into the fight <laughs> and some other team is going to do what we essentially did just now? Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Okay, maybe we can have them fight each other? I'm not too sure. Those two over there are in the same team. I know that much. So let me see if I can just confuse these guys. Are you mine? You're not. Technically speaking, God, the, the, our horses are like neck and neck. Oi. Okay. Got one. I don't know which one of you you are, but I mean, which who you are, but oh, my guy actually got taken down. So whoever, oh, I got him. Oh no, wait. Hmm. With how things are, I'm pretty sure he has more of a chance of taking me down if I'm on my horse than if I'm not. I'll be completely honest with you. Though, I suppose I do have a bow and arrows, which should have helped me more. Yeah, I'm just dumb, okay? I could And this guy didn't have a shield. I could have literally just ro rode around him and fired at him. Fight! Two teams, two fighters. And everybody's going in weird directions. So I got his horse, but he missed him. He, on the other hand, does have a shield. But he's not facing me. Mistake. Okay, he's facing me now. Also, he has a lot of health, apparently. There we go. Sir Osney Kettleblack! Oh, Harding! Hey! You and me again. Mano e mano. Let's go. Take your horse down, and you know, 
Like I said last time, you don't have a shield. I have arrows that actually do damage. Also, wait, he only... No, you're not gonna tell me that this guy only had 50 health. Get out of here. No way. Like, champion fighters in the arena have more health than this dude did. Vas. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, but cool, half hand. Actually, just came here to, you know. Now, what is. Ah, right. He is Lord Commander now. Let us lift the cup. Yes, indeed. Mm, I want to give you some troops. I wish to ask you something. I have some prisoners you may want. Question mark. Do I? I guess I do. Let me actually give them to Corrin. Okay, uh, we earned 800 gold, and I'm hoping that our units actually did go to Corrin. Well, only one way to find out. I was born with a blade in my hand. Oh, he was born with a blade in his hand. Sell this, sell this, sell this, sell this, and buy some more stuff. Buy food. Buy more food. Rotten pork, I'll sell that. I'll take the apples, I'll tell you the sack of grain. Mm, it is a challenge to actually feed this many units. <laughs> so I can't imagine having a lot more. And that's just the thing, right? Like, we can't go into a battle against whites on our own. Even if I manage to get, like, 500 units or something. That's just not doable. You do not fight the whites with 500 units against 60... I mean, 600... 6,000, sorry, whites and win. By the way, what's happening with Bear Island? It is no longer under siege. Hello? So whoever was attacking it backed off possibly to go back to hornwood we'll see what are the chances we find another dragonstone lord over here in shadow tower what is up whilst traveling you'll come across a young scholar who claims his master is chronicling the great and noble events of this land he offers a small fee to convince his master to overlook your not notoriety no 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 notori no God, I, I don't know how to read this notoriety i'll, I'll go with that for incessant pillaging and general debauchery, and instead depict you as something closer to a virtuous saint, a crusader for the poor, an oppressed, or a heroic champion. Whichever you prefer. I will have you know that is exactly what I am. I've been helping people this entire time. Don't mind the units that I'm killing on the battlefield. Those are literally battles. You know, you gladly pay the scholar 500 stags and a little more for his troubles. There we go. You gain five renown. That's what I was actually going for, because... What is our renown right now? Renown is 750. That is plenty. That is quite a bit. Because, of course, as our renown goes up, uh, so does the amount of units that we can command. Two-handed weapons. Ball arms. Because why not? Pretty sure our sword is a one-handed weapon, right? Yeah. Not like we have a pole arm, but hey. Gendry has advanced. There we go. Gendry, let's have a quick talk, my friend. You are our... Ta -ta 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 tracker. Tracker and primary engineer. So secondary tracker, primary engineer. So intelligence. Engineer is already there. Five, so next is tra yeah tracking so we'll do that you don't need power draw you don't need you don't really need weapon mastery horse archery you're not firing you're a fighter you're a fighter you're not a shooter uh you do have a pole arm and I guess one-handed weapon because the two-handed weapon I didn't touch and obviously he has neither so <laughs> we'll go with that. Uh, Dornish Light Spearman. Basically, with that, with that uh, tournament, we essentially got all of the money that we've been spending on upgrading all of our units. <laughs> so that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, Ranger, of course. And the Rangers are going to the very bottom. The, 
the, the, the down buttons here. Did I just... Oh my freaking lord! <laughs> I refuse to talk about this. I, I, I simply refuse. The rest of these guys shall be writers. This is a wonderful beginning to the new year, isn't it? Uh, after experiencing the first seven days of the free trial, I wish to cancel my subscription to 2021, please. Good God. <laughs> so yeah, Shadow Tower doesn't have a Lord in it. We're just going to head back to Castle Black and hope they have some rogues for us to recruit. That would be absolutely wonderful. Give me some rogues. Please give me some rogues. This is the end. Are you rogues? You are rogues. <gasps> me and 12 others, that's 13 rogues. Thank you. I shall take you immediately. Good God. Okay. I'm a little bit la less sad now. I'm still freaking sad, but a little bit less sad. All right. Uh, Fist of the First Man has been seized by Sir Bernard Brune. He's already there, darn. I mean, granted, we went to Shadow Tower and back, but I didn't think they were that quick. Uh, haven't been to the Fist of the First Men yet, so I have no idea how many defenders are actually in there. Hopefully not too, too many. Skirling. Can I do something? Forcibly recruit. Take the villagers by force. And everybody has already had their pick. Darn it. Oh, what is that? Lord Rickard Carr Stark. Paramount Roos Bolton. Running from Kylos, running from Kylos, running from Kylos. Lady Burberry Dustin. How quick is Roos Bolton? 6.1. We are not catching that. But I do... It's interesting that Lord Carr Stark is actually running away from us as well. Okay, and also... I am very glad to see that Lord Paramount Bruce Bolton actually, you know, spawned with little to no men. Because if you remember some of the other mods that we played on this channel, some of them had the problem of uh, lords that you've defeated suddenly spawning with like a hundred plus units. You know, just, there you go, hundred units. 133 units in there. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. Hopefully. I mean, they have 800 units. I have an additional 300. This should be fine. This should be good. Meanwhile, before they actually attack, we might want to just check around here. Barbary Dustin running from me. Da. No, that's Barbary Dustin. That's Karstark. And just wreak some havoc up here, I guess. Well, not if they run away that fast. That's no fair. I want to fight. <laughs> Nobody home. Nobody around. Nice watch recruit. Yeah. Wait, where are the recruits? Ooh. Okay, this time I'm clicking the right button, okay? <laughs> there. Veteran Rangers, get down there. Uh Nightwatch Ranger, get down there. Honestly, what I might do is just before we go into this battle, just so that we don't randomly lose these units, I might just make a, you know, a troop camp and leave some of these guys in it. Uh, Tiger Cloak Archer. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, so how many do we have so far? We're ready for now. We have 4, 5, 7, 19. 19 Night Watch recruits. Facing 6,000 whites? No problem. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I did make this episode a little bit longer because it has indeed been a while since I've put a video out. Um, especially a, a World of Ice and Fire out. Uh, I'm gonna certainly do my best to uh, be a bit more consistent with the YouTube uh, series as well. Not just consistent with the streams and the stream VODs and everything, but actually do some recording as well. Uh, I can promise you that much. Or rather, uh, or rather, I can promise you that that is on my 2021 
uh, New Year's resolution. <laughs> I usually like New Year's resolutions because I need some sort of goals to uh, go towards. Um, and anyway, guys, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, like I said, once again, uh, there is now a Discord channel. Please go ahead and join it there. See you there. I will see you next time as well. And until then, as always, Ad Gloriam.